So here's the big question. How are entrepreneurs like us, who have been hustling and struggling to make it to success, who seem to make it one step forward, only to fall two steps back, who are dedicated, determined, and driven, how do we finally break through and win? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Brian Kelly, and this is the Mind Body Business Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. We have an absolute phenomenal show lined up for you tonight. I cannot wait to share this individual with you. High energy, super amazing guy who is out crushing it in business and entrepreneurship, in education and training and teaching. This guy is off the charts amazing and I cannot wait. And I will be bringing him on very, very soon. His name is Ryan Jenkins, amazing guy, multi, multi-talented individual. This show, the Mind Body Business Show, it is a show for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs. And the reason that we do this is I bring on only successful people onto the show as my guests so that you can simply take notes and model what they are doing to achieve success. Because that's what I found is that over the past 10, 10 years or so ago now that I've started studying only successful people. What made them more successful than me? I was just so curious. I mean, they all put their clothing on one limb at a time, or at least I think they do. Uh, maybe some of them are, have figured out how to do it all at once. Uh, but the thing is, is what makes them different? What makes them more successful? And I found during this time of studying that three patterns kept bubbling up to the top over and over and over. And you might have guessed what those three are. It's like, I call them the three pillars of success. And that's mind, which means mindset. Each individual that I studied that achieved great success has a very powerful, positive, and most importantly, flexible mindset. And then body. They literally take care of their body, both nutritionally on the inside and physically by exercise on the outside. And then business. There's business is multifaceted. There are things involved in there that these incredible people had mastered, all these skill sets like marketing, sales, team building, systematizing, leadership, and I could just keep going on and on and on. The good news for you and all of us is that you, no one person needs master every single skill set that's required to build and develop a successful business and then grow it. Really, you only need one. And I mentioned it. It was one of those that I mentioned just a moment ago. If you master the skill set, when you master the skill set of leadership, then you now have the skill you need to simply delegate to those who have master the skill sets that you may not currently possess. And that's it. And so this is a show that I cannot wait to share Ryan Jenkins, who's coming on in just a moment. And one other amazing thing I found to a person that uh, was extremely successful is they read. They read a lot of books. And with that, I like to segue into a little segment I affectionately call Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Born to read. Bookmarks. Ready. Steady. Read. Bookmarks. Brought to you by ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. Oh, yes. And I'm chuckling over here because when that was playing, I'm over here dancing in my chair and I'm, I see Ryan in the back room. He's dancing in his chair as well. Can't wait to bring him on. This guy's awesome. I love it. ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. What is that? I literally had this built with you in mind. And I know that sounds a little cheesy. Come on, Brian. Are you serious? The answer is yes. And why did I do that? I didn't start reading until I was about the age of 47. I'm 56 now. And I began reading voraciously and I realized, oh my goodness, the, uh, the impact that this has had on my life has been incredible. And so I read a lot of books in a short period of time. And I took just those that had positive impact on me, either in business or in my personal life or both. And I put them on this site. I had this built for you so that when you're looking for that next great read, you know, it's at least vetted by one other successful entrepreneur and the odds of it having positive impact for you are greater, which means your odds for wasting time are less. It's all about efficiency. 
And uh, I can't wait to bring on Ryan. He's coming on in just a second. And I wanted to point something out here real quick. ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. Instead of typing it in and going to it right now, rather than do that, bring take out that old-fashioned piece of paper and a pen and write these down. There will be more than one. Ryan will have resources, I'm sure. Every single show, we have more resources. And the reason is, is the magic stays in the room. I would really hate for it if you were to take your attention away from Ryan when he comes on and he's going to be giving you incredible value all evening long. Yeah, I didn't tell Ryan. We're going on for like five hours straight. Don't tell him. And uh, no, it's only an hour show. And uh, we're, he's going to be giving you value throughout. And I want you to just write it down. This is for you, not for me, because... Again, if you were to go start looking off on other websites and looking and you took your attention away, he might drop that one golden nugget that could change your life forever for better. And you just missed it because you were off doing something else. So stay with us and we have some things to give away at the end. This is going to be phenomenal. So be sure to do that. So are you guys all ready to meet a super amazing individual? It's not me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. It's time for the Guest Expert Spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the one, <laughs> the only, taking selfies on his show, Ryan Jenkins. Yes. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm really excited to talk with you. Uh, you know what? So I'm going to tell everybody a secret that you're in a land far, far away, near Rome. I won't give it away, uh, I mean, unless you're okay with that, but it's near Rome. And it is, what time is it there right now, Ryan? It is 2.38 a.m. in the morning. A.m., ladies and gentlemen. So this right there by itself is a lesson. He knows what it takes to become successful. He really doesn't know me that well, but he knows the importance of getting additional exposure for himself, his brand, and his business. So take that to heart and uh, mad respect for you and appreciation for coming on, Ryan. I cannot tell you how appreciative I am. Well, I could, but it, we would have to go about five hours. So uh, real quick before we jump in and I want to formally introduce you, Ryan, and then let's get busy with it, is a little bit of housekeeping because I do have some wonderful sponsors. And I want to let everybody know that you, you stay on live to the end. You have to be here live. So live to the end. You will find out. I will, um, I will give you a way. I will show you how you can win a five-night stay at a five-star luxury resort. All compliments of the big insider secrets. There's a big red logo above Ryan's noggin up there on the screen if you're watching. Yeah, it's over there, one of those. And uh, that is the big insidersecrets.com. My buddy Jason Nast, uh, that's his company. And they are the ones that provide this for us. And it's a legit vacation stay. You're not going to be whisked away for five hours into a timeshare where they lock you in and then browbeat you to spend your money. Nope, it's an actual vacation stay. So stay to the end for that. And then we have a couple of other things to mention, and then we're going to get busy with Ryan Jenkins. So if you're struggling with putting a live show together and it's overwhelming and you just <coughs> want a lot of the process is done for you while still enabling you to put on a high quality show and connect with great people like Ryan Jenkins and grow your business all at the same time then head on over to carpetbombmarketing.com. Don't do that right now. Write it down. Carpet Bomb Marketing. Saturate the marketplace with your message. And one of the key components that is contained in the Carpet Bomb Marketing courses, this is one of the components you'll learn how to absolutely master is the very service we use to stream our live shows right here on the Mind Body Business Show. Over the course of the past nine, now it's nine plus years, we have tried many of these quote unquote TV studio solutions, you know, for live streaming. And I'll tell you right now, StreamYard is the best of the best. It combines supreme ease of use along with unmatched functionality. So start streaming high quality, professional looking live shows for free. Just head on over or write this down, RYP, dot i m forward slash stream live that is a website head on over there you can start streaming for free after the show's over okay write that down and do it later all right that's the last time i'll harp on that because you know what it's time to bring this amazing young man back on the screen and into your 
your living rooms, your your kitchens. It could be your bedrooms. You could be watching in bed with your tablet, wherever you are. Ryan Jenkins, he's the talent for SYCO for Simon Cowell. Does anybody know who that is? Mm. He creates for the biggest brands on the planet. Brands like Puma, Red Bull, Candy Crush. Oh my gosh, my wife loves that game. He is a reality TV star from the hit Lifetime show, Dance Moms. My gosh. And is the CEO of ID Company. It's a dance education platform that has an app launching globally this year. I'm excited for that because my daughter has been in dance through her life. If you want to learn about achieving, look no further. This is Ryan Jenkins. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And so what I like to do is open up, Ryan, uh, we talk about mind, body, and business. And uh, bios, I, I know there's far more to what you're doing and what you have done than what I just read. And we're going to get into that, I hope. We'll see how that goes. But what I like to do first is now we, we kind of have the surface. We know a little bit of what you've achieved, a little bit. What I like to know is how you got there and what what is going on in that big, beautiful brain of yours when you get up in the morning? Like when you, well, I know it's the morning now and you got up just a little bit ago. <laughs> when you get up in the morning, you know, there's maybe there's an arduous task looking, looming in front of you because as entrepreneurs, those happen just a few times. And what is going on in your brain that motivates you, that gets you fired up, that keeps you going day after day, night after night? Well, first of all, I think as human beings, our brains are all connected and wired differently. Say for a writer, they're very much constructed to sitting in a room or being out somewhere and focusing on one project and one story. Entrepreneurship with people are very much more erratic thinkers, I find a lot of the time. They're overthinking, lots of new ideas. There's a lot, there's a lot bouncing around. And it's finding that inspiration that I'm um, I'm always told that things just fall on my lap. Uh, today I had a telephone call that I'm now choreographing a brand new new music video for a major artist back in the UK doing it through Zoom and they said so you just arrived at your new beach location and of course Ryan you get a music video went, of course darling but I wake up and I normally look to make my life inspiring by my surroundings and things that I'm doing and then from that I work on the projects I want to do but the reason, like I say, I've just moved is I need to be inspired. I need new things to look at every single day. So I get bored very, very easily. So if you can't keep me in one location, one place, same things. Um, more, I always find with change comes new opportunities. So it's keeping yourself moving and a shaking. That's phenomenal. And, and you have this signature thing you do with your face. Yeah, with the work it. Work it, right. It creates a W. And that's that's it. He lives by this moniker. And, and you, if you follow Ryan on Instagram or Facebook anywhere, you'll see many pictures and videos where he's he's doing that. And I'll, I won't do it justice, so I won't mess it up. Um, and it's it's cool because it's part of your brand, right? Going forward, it is. It's really taken off. It's something for the fans to connect with me and friends and wherever you go in the world, everybody can work it. So <laughs> I have baby people have had babies and i've got little like babies first work kit and then kids might be on a holiday with their parents and they're like who can do the best work it picture and then they do a little photo shoot and they all tag me and i comment and they're like oh my god yeah so it's a really nice bonding and connection little thing that we all do together and it looks fabulous in a picture you gotta say like work it, <laughs> it's really worth it. i love it it's <laughs> unique it, it forms like a W, so you can tell us work it. I think it's it's pretty awesome. And you use it everywhere you go. Even you've been gallivanting all over Rome. Uh, but <clears throat> I've been following that, living vicariously through you. Uh, you were alone in the Colosseum, almost alone in this entire vast Roman Colosseum. I'd love to see it with a crowd. I don't care, but you got to see it by yourself <laughs> practically. I mean, what was that like? Yeah, I feel like I've been living in a dream for probably four months. And when I decided to move for lockdown to Rome, I didn't really take into account how empty it was going to be. It's a bit like the movie 28 Days Later at the beginning where London is completely empty, that I have just been walking around Rome. The Romans, obviously, who live here, don't go to the Colosseum, don't go in the museums. So I've just everywhere I've been has been completely empty 
the Vatican Museum, which is like the, one of the busiest museums in the world, no one in it. And wow. I'm never going to get to experience it again. It's been the most endearing, uplifting experience um, for myself to get through lockdown alone because I just had this city. But as I said, Brian, you might have to fly over because I haven't seen Rome nor more hustling and bustling with all the energy going on. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, there, there is a silver lining, isn't there? You know, this whole pandemic and all the lockdown is a negative thing, yet look what you got to do as a result of it. It wouldn't have happened if it wasn't there. And yes, I'm sensitive to everyone that's gotten sick or ill and passed away. I totally. But let's look at the positive side of things always. And that's, see, that's what, that's what drives this guy. That's one of the key elements why Ryan is so successful. If you follow him at all, it's rare. I don't know if I've ever seen you in a picture or a video where you're, you don't have some kind of smile or unbounded energy going on. Just like now, like, like that, that smile. It's like, it's always there. And you're just, you, you exude positivity. But right? I think it's really important. You, what you put out in the universe, you get it back. So it's always being happy. It's being nice, doing small things to support other people, even just walking down the street. Doesn't matter how much money you've got, how successful you've got. Someone drops their handbag, help them up, give someone a wave in the street. And it's just putting that out there. And, you know, when you see, I always think when you see someone walking down the street and they look a bit sad, I always sort of go, hi, and I go, I like your top. You look gorgeous. And then walk on. And I know that they've gone, <gasps> Oh, okay. And you know what? That one word to someone can lift their spirits and it costs you nothing. And then all of a sudden, I'll get a phone call about a couple of days later, randomly. And people go, why do you just keep getting these things? And I went, because <laughs> I'm putting myself out there and the energy's coming back. And it's like a give and take. I think it's so true. And gosh, we're so similar, Ryan. I mean, I love that. You know, you have that little... Uh, detector that shows that somebody's not having a prime day right and like go up to a barista at starbucks or whatever you can tell they're in the moment they're moving they're, they're moving but you can just see you can tell something's not a whole all there uh you know they're not happy at that moment and so i like to do like you do either give them a compliment maybe say something a little humorous break them out of that state and you just see it happen it's like snap right yeah. and it, it's so fulfilling to help brighten someone's day even if just for a moment uh, it is. You, know, so you give them that time. So I would say most of my day, a lot of it is on the phone, helping friends and associates, having a chat with them about things. And recently for lockdown, I decided to do free Q&A questions for dance schools all over the globe. Uh, Brian, I've been asked many questions. So you, <laughs> you're on the test here, mate. Uh, what was great was it was a private thing for the school to do individually for themselves. The parents got involved over Zoom and it was great. We just sat down, talked and had stories. So I've probably done about 50 little mini interviews, shall we say, with parents and kids. And again, that doesn't cost me anything apart from an hour of my time. But I know that all of those people watching are left gleaming with smiles. And it's just doing something that because you can do it and you know it's going to put a smile on someone's face and you don't do it to get anything. You just do it because it's the right thing and you're able to offer something. I absolutely love that. I love that. Oh, Jason Nass says he's excited for the show. That is the He's that's the biggest. Um, he's the big insider secrets. He's the man, the myth, the legend. And yeah, he said he stayed at three. He has. He's actually stayed at three of those vacation stays, uh, th those properties, to verify that they are legit. And each time he came back, just raving about them. And then Anthony Mallet was commenting earlier. What you just described was you, Brian. Sm oh, <laughs> thanks, Anthony. Appreciate that. Yeah, and I'll tell you that that's this guy. I mean, I don't. He probably sleeps with a smile in his face. I don't know. But, you know, <laughs> he's that kind of guy where you just don't find him very often without one. And, and that's the kind of people I like to be around because uplifting people lift you up. Right. And then why not be that person? As you, you know, and I wasn't always, uh, you know, super positive. I met people like Jason. Jason Nast is, was like when I met him, he was the most positive person I'd ever met in my life. I mean, all this stuff was flying at him negative things going on and he never once said boo-hoo for me and, and complained and groveled he just looked at a different path and said okay well it's better over there let's go over there 
You know, that's I mean, awesome. that's so true that you said that. So I meet so many people and they come to me advice and all they do is moan and I just go, stop. We need to stop. I said, I'm not having this meeting. I said, all you're doing is complaining and giving me negativity and all you're giving me is problems. I said, do you think anybody wants to work with you? I said, why don't you go away for an hour and write down what the problem is and then write to me about solutions and we can discuss it. And why don't we turn it around? I said, because no one wants to sit with anybody or anyone that's always moaning and complaining and, oh, where's the waiter? Oh, they're late again and they've not replied. I was like, you know what? There's a reason for everything. And one, why are you stressing the small stuff? Why are you stressing about the waiter not coming to get your food order? Maybe you gave him a funny look on the way in. Why don't you give him a wave and go, cooey? Or, hey, mate, can you come over? We're really hungry. Um, again, it's that whole thing of you put out a positive energy. People want to be around you. So stop being a moaning myrtle if you are listening and being one. And flip it, darling. <laughs> Snap around it. I'll tell you that that could be one of the most powerful pieces of advice anyone could ever listen to and take heed in as far as building a business and actually being happier with your life, period. I've really I mean, took it on from being in Italy. It's a word called stagazzi, like whatever. And this whole just chilled attitude of don't sweat the small things like we all do stressing about getting in a queue or driving the car and it's like what is the point be motivated and focus that energy onto a project rather than getting wound up about something and all right there's no need to because it's just taking your focus off what you're probably wanting to achieve at that day what's the project that you're working on yeah i mean i love this I, you know like if you're in a car and you're stuck in traffic uh, just turn it around and say, well, hey, I'm blessed. I have a car. I'm in a car. It may you not also be have time to think. You also have time exactly. to do calls. You've got time to listen to the music that you don't want to listen to. You haven't been able to listen to. There's so many things. Not that you're stuck in traffic, except you have to accept that you decided to live in that place. You've accepted to do that journey, and you know it's going to be a long journey. So why sitting it and then complain about it? Move. Make a decision. Like I decided to leave London to Rome. Don't complain about it. Accept it and make the best out of it. I love it. Oh, preach it, brother. Are you coming back to yeah. California? Yeah, baby. I'm, I'm moving back to LA soon. Good. Well, when you do, uh, look me up and let's go grab a coffee or do something. Um, you're just a you're just a joy to be around. And I mean this. Uh, we met on Clubhouse, if you remember. Yes, yeah, a new app. Yeah, voice only, uh, and it's pretty phenomenal. And I just thought, man, this dude is full. Of, I like this guy. You know, and I, we started chatting and I said, hey, let's. And then we were going back and forth on uh, Instagram. I am and said, hey, I'd love to have you on my show. And you're like, let's do it. <laughs> like, yeah, let's do it. And that's, you know, just show up. Just get out there like Ryan's doing. He's going to Rome. He's he's now in another uh, place near Rome and he's moving around and making connections <laughs> everywhere he goes. Yes. Did you like that? I just skirted right past it. Um, it's a secret because he's having fun with his uh, his followers and it's fun it's truly fun uh he says i'll reveal it later and i was like oh this is cool but i'm worried because this was yesterday and he's going to be moving out of rome i'm thinking i hope the time zone isn't changing because he may not know what time to come onto this show <laughs> <laughs> and then uh and then i saw you uh respond to one of the text messages that went out I'm like, okay we're good we're good <laughs> thank goodness and that's the other thing you know this guy ryan is so like he's so complete uh, he went through, he got a lot of messages before he came onto the show from me, from my automated systems. And he took care of every one of them with his busy life, with everything he's doing. He still made the commitment. He's a professional. That's what I'm getting at. He's a professional and he treats anything and everybody as a professional, you know, when it comes to respecting people, right. And respecting what he committed to. So I just appreciate you for that, Ryan, for so many things. You're just an amazing guy. Thank you. Thank and that's what the show is about. It's just here to blubber all over Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> How long is it going on for? <laughs> yeah, Anthony says, wow, that's awesome. Clubhouse, nice. Yeah. Yeah, see, exactly. You guys seem to know each other for years. Love it. That's the energy and synergy. Isn't that true, Ryan? How many times? I mean, have you ever gone to like an entrepreneur themed or where entrepreneurs gather for a seminar, a workshop, a boot camp? you know, including dance uh, events, right? And so I've not been to an entrepreneur one. I seem to have that 
random gifts naturally. Dance seminars, yes. And again, I think like you have amazing positive energy. I do. And I think once you stop complaining and that there's no threat between you and I think it, that positive I don't know, it breaks down a wall and you can just chat and have a good time and you just make friends with people. It's so much easier. Yeah, I always feel like I am with my family away from my family. Instantly, without ever saying a word, you just feel it when you're in the building. Like I would go to a lot of these, I used to speak at them, I will get back to doing it and, and teach students from stage and all entrepreneur-based uh, events. And I just loved them because I felt at home every single time you know and it's a lot of people have this can do attitude that are all looking to produce and help and serve others not just there to make money for themselves yes that's a part of it we're not going to skate over that however when all the people i've interviewed ryan and you're like 130 something i've, I've lost count and that's not a lot actually uh but i do one a week on, on a average my one show a week and each person is there for serving other people. They, they rarely talk about the money aspect of the business, even though it's absolutely paramount, we have to make money. And in fact, I wish, I hope that Ryan Jenkins makes an absolute boatload, several boatloads of money. And why? Well, because if he's making a ton of money, how many more people, how many more lives can he impact in a positive way? I want him to impact as many as he possibly can, grow his team as big as he possibly can, and spread that positive, you know, aura of Ryan Jenkins throughout the world. That's what this is all about. It's about loving and lifting people, in my opinion. What do you think, Ryan? Loving that. And I have to back up. The more successful I get, the more calm I seem to be and the more willing I want to help other people because I'm not so much striving for my own success and to achieve my own goals. And I think that's a big thing for young entrepreneurs especially or anyone young in business, you're so hungry to achieve for you that you seem to forget about everybody else. And the whole part of life is, it's about communication, education, and connecting with people. And if you can't connect with people to help you grow or your business, and you're just like this, it's never going to go bang. And that's the thing at the moment, the more I seem to have relaxed and have a bit more fun. I give people more my time. The more opportunities are coming my way. But when I was just like this, oh, there's an opportunity. Oh, I overheard. Yeah. And I'm not telling them that. And this, everyone, <laughs> like when I was young, I was so hungry to be the best dancer on the planet. And every agent, every casting, every audition, I was at everything. But I, you got to sit back and just take it in because there's no point living a life which is just complete stress, trying to make money, trying to make success, if you don't enjoy it at the same time. So I think it's key that people make, they need to put time blocking into the day, it's called, where you yeah. wake up and you have time for yourself to, an hour to wake up, do some yoga, put the telly on, the radio, have a shower, and then quickly check the Facebook if you want to, or leave it an extra hour. Um, go for a walk, but block your day to go, right, now's power thinking. What do I want to do? And then two, what am I going to achieve? Who do I have to call? Social media, email, stop. That's been up to lunch. Now I need to have me time. I need to go for lunch. And it's not like I'm working. I have to work. It's like, no, you don't. And I meet, I met a young singer recently, and he says, I'm working 20 hours a day. And I said, stop. Exactly. Not healthy, mate. And I said, he said, but I'm getting stuff done. I said, no, you're not. You're probably getting mediocre stuff done because you're tired and you're so involved in it that you haven't stepped away. And I said, you need to time block your day. I said, I bet you you're sitting there stressed. You went, yeah, I'm very stressed, but I'm doing it. I said, if you're doing it badly, so you need to listen to what I'm saying is step away, go and have you time health, well-being. And I said, and I'll tell you what, thing that would take you three hours, I bet you get it done in 20 minutes because you'll be so fired, so energized and a much better space. And people, especially the younger entrepreneurs, think that the longer hours they do, the better they are. 
you learn with age, darling. I can do a job that you could do in two hours in about 10 minutes. And it comes with experience and patience and learning and having a clear head. So it's really key for people to take on well-being. And how how are you with your well-being, Brian? I, yeah, I totally agree with you on all of that. Yeah, it, and that's something that it took me age to learn as well. You know, I was the gung-ho. I'm still a go-getter. I work my butt off. I love working. I don't call it work. It's more play for me. But there is that you've got to have that you time. You got to shut down. You got to decompress. You got to do something you re, you enjoy in a relaxed state. You know, I like to in the morning, uh, if if Good weather morning. is permitting. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. What's that? <laughs> I said, drink wine. <laughs> oh, not in the morning. Not in the morning. No, no. I, I'm coffee, baby. And uh, so I like to get up in the morning and grab a coffee and go out on my deck and get some sun and just get some vitamin D. And just and sometimes I'll go all right in my backyard in the grass and I'll do uh, jumping jacks just to get the part the heart going and to get the sun at the same time. And it's just that me time. And here's what I love about what you're saying, Ryan, is this is what I've learned from interviewing so many successful people just like yourself and everyone seems to have their own routine. The key is they have one. <laughs> Not everybody does. Like the, the gentleman you were talking about probably doesn't have much of one. Probably gets up, jumps on the computer, has his phone out, and he's got five arms doing five things at, at once from sun up to sundown. Uh, you got to have those little breaks. I like that where you said break and take lunch. I did the same thing today. Before our show right here, I worked out. And I do that as much as I possibly can right before a show because now I'm amped. I am here for my guests. This is not the Brian Kelly show. This is the Ryan Jenkins show. And it's whoever is in that seat show each and every time we go live. And I want to bring everything I got for them, not for me. And that's just, it's like Ryan is talking about. That is working very, very well. It wasn't the intent to get more out of it. It's to just lift the person next to me as high as I possibly can with the resources I have. That's it. That's what I love doing. I love people. And you're amazing at it, Brian. Thank you. Oh, yes. And I, how much do I owe you for that one? <laughs> Get your checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yep. Jason's right. I do smooth jazz and wine every Friday night. Uh, my wife and I sit down and we have a glass and we have some maybe some cheese and crackers and just chill out because we have a favorite artist that goes live every Friday on Facebook for a full hour. And we just enjoy each other's company. And I just have a blast doing that. Thanks for yeah, Jason knows because he was here in my home for a while. Yes, he said, and you're beautiful, right? I still agree with that one. Yeah. And so, Anthony, uh, thank you for this. He says, so I'm watching you on YouTube. What other channels can people watch on? And Facebook, uh, they're there, we are streaming live on Ryan's page. What is the name of your page again, Ryan? ID Company Limited. So ID like identification, but it's lowercase ID, ID. Hyphen company. Hyphen company limited. And that's like dance company. It's on several of my Facebook pages. It's on my Facebook profile. It's on Periscope. Hopefully Periscope is still alive at this moment. I know it's going away. It's also on LinkedIn and, and Twitch of, of all things, the gaming platform. So Yes. Oh, yes, he did. He found me on Facebook. Look at that. <laughs> I'm on Twitch. I've just lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You can make a dial up. It's for the Twitch. <laughs> the essence of Ryan Jenkins right there. Right there. That's it. Oh, always, that's cool. always having fun. It's okay to have fun, even when you're working. Yes, why not? <laughs> oh, I, I tell this, I brought my kids up this way. I said, there are times to be serious and there are times to enjoy your life. And rarely is the former, which is the serious one. It's enjoy every moment. Be serious when it matters. Like if you're at a funeral, there are times when you should be serious. And when I say serious, meaning that in that case, respectful and not clowning around and not being goofy. But most of the time, I'm a goofy guy. I mean, I just love having a, a, a good time with people and helping lift the day a little bit if I can in any way. That's, I just enjoy it. You know, I just, I don't know. I was kind of born a little comedian anyway. Oh, man, we've got people just going crazy on these comments, especially when you're working, then you're not working. That's right, Anthony Mallet. Here, I'll put it on the screen so it's not a big secret. Thank you, all of you. Yeah, and Jason's helping promote me. This is a friend. 
This is one of my best friends on the planet. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. He's helping me get subscribers to YouTube. These are the type of people you want to have in your corner, like Ryan Jenkins, you know, that they, that are there to give and serve. And we're, we're equal. We're equally yoked in that way. I think you're maybe you, you're probably better at it than I am. Uh, but that's the way, that's what makes this world go around in my humble opinion. So it's like, you know, have fun and help people. And when you do that, you're going to have great success. Just like this guy. That's what this show is about. What you're hearing are the, are the secrets to his success. I hope you're understanding this. It's really not that difficult. I could make it harder if you want me to, but I'm not going to. All you have to do is listen to this guy and model after what he's doing that has made him successful. And that means go serve, live positively, and don't expect things in return every time you turn around. Take breaks, be there for yourself. And there's much more to it, you know, and he works hard. There's no doubt about it. He's multi-talented. He's a dancer, a choreographer, a reality TV star. I mean, the list goes on and on. So he's put the work in. Don't get me wrong. It's not just, you know, go have fun and skate across the ice and have a good time. It's got to put the work in, too. Um, jump in, Ryan, man. What do you think? Does all that sound? Yeah, most definitely. So it's like going back to what you were saying about having fun. A lot of the clients I work for, so I work for Kingfo um, with an events company, who, which is Candy Crush and BA. Those clients normally call me up. One, the <laughs> first one is they love the choreography or the creative direction that I do for them. But normally I will walk into this massive production meeting of about 50 people and I'm scheduling for two and they're like, Brian's here in the drive. And they're like, Brian! Yay, he's here, and they all start clapping. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, we're just, we've been telling everyone about you. We're so excited that you're here. Come and sit down, tell us about what's going on, what we're doing. We got to, we're doing dance, guys. If you didn't know, we're doing dance. And I'm like jumping around, and the directors are just having a great time. And then we'll have a quick chat. And then I go, right, okay, so we need to discuss about the costumes and the fittings. I've spoken to the guys about the flooring, lighting department, we're working on the sound direction and we're working on what's gonna work with that because I know you wanted it cued off Thingy Bob. Bob, I've been looking to you. Alice, I need you to talk to Thingy Bob. Then they're like, we just love you. And then they go, because I can fire my job out so focused and I normally have thought of everybody else of what they need to do. So. The lighting, the sound, the flooring, the costume, they're all gonna have questions. And before they even get to ask me, I've answered it for them. And they go, oh, we just love you. Go get a glass of wine. I'm like, thanks, darling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so I'm so prepared and honest. And it, it's not a curse. It is, um, I'm an overthinker of, I think of every single option of what's going to be asked to me by different departments and everything. And I think that came into when I was starting my company, that it wasn't just about the education side. So we have a contemporary and a street dance syllabus. I created the contemporary and got a street team to do the street. But then I decided to create my own company. But there's, there's no lessons in how do you sign up for a company, design a website. How do I get a logo? How do I make it limited? Copyright, get a bank account. I was like going nuts. But then I learned as I went along, every day is about problem solving. It's, I wanna go to that place. What was it? You know, there's that theme park, where is it? You go on your phone, you problem solve, you find it. I don't know how to start a company. Get on your phone, problem solve, you sort it. Every day you have to fix problems and face challenges. And that's the same for any entrepreneur. I was just learning as you go. And what I found that I'm good at personally was marketing and branding and mm -hmm. PR that I've really got a head around it. And a lot of people think there's a whole team where there is, but mainly I'm shooting the gun of what I want done exactly. So with filming, TV, advert, social media, I'm the one piecing it all together, telling everyone what to do. And I'm going, I don't know, my brain seems to be attuned to it. And the more I, the more I do, the more I've learned and the easier it is now, Brian. So now I don't have to stress as much because 
what is the most powerful thing us as humans earn or learn? And that is information. Information is power. And so if you can now learn how to chuck a poster, a music video, and cast something, and all these little bits and pieces, which would normally take me hours, how do I cast a music video? Okay, right, so we're going to have to do an advert. Okay, we're going to have to email people. What needs to be in the advert? Now I'm like, oh, it's all done. It's in an email. Copy and paste, drag, call Rona, da 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 done. Two seconds. Yeah. It's all of that. Of just don't try to enjoy the journey, I try to tell people, is don't get stressed by it. Be happy that it's a new challenge. And when you finish that challenge, that's it. It's in your back pocket, back your backpack. You've learned something new and you've done another step up your Mount Everest. I love it. Yeah. It's like we talk about stacking pebbles. You know, every step is like stacking a pebble, get, getting you higher and higher and higher, closer to that next, that next goal that you want to reach. Because yes. as an entrepreneur, once you reach that goal, it's like, where's the next one? And what is it? Let's go. You know, it's like, could you imagine, Ryan, if you were to reach the absolute top pinnacle goal? And you could not at all. It was impossible. You cannot go any farther. What, what, what would that feel like in your life? Knowing that I'm at the ceiling. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anymore. There's no more goals to go seeking. You know uh, what? There are people to look at. I would say you find peace. I would say like Bill Gates. He's a great guy. That He lives much in nature. He lives reading books, which you spoke about. And his life is not about achieving now. It's more about giving. And he's completely flipped it. Um, I think once you reach that level, you calm and you find a new... You, there's always going to be something and you never want to stop learning. People never want to stop learning. It's whether you want to stop achieving with a successful business and money. But you think in a different way of going your mindset, like your mind, body and business. You Maybe you lose the business and it's about your mind and a body achieving, which I think Bill Gates has done. There's a documentary out. I'm not can't remember what platform it was, but it was very enlightening to see how someone could change from computers and science and all of these bits and pieces to being a bit more zen. Absolutely. And you've said some things that I just wanted to kind of take note of for everyone watching and listening right now is uh, that everything entrepreneurs do is all about solving problems, solving issues. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make any money because people pay us, pay you, entrepreneurs, to solve problems. So the key is finding those pain points that you know how to solve, that they are unaware un of how to solve. And now you have you know, something you enjoy doing. You have a business. They're ready to rock and roll. And there are so many wonderful things out there that need solving. Uh, so it won't be difficult to find your niche if you haven't already. And I love how you talked about your um, your commitment to being prepared. And I, I think that often goes without being stated or highlighted. And I love that because I personally am all about putting on the most high quality possible show I can, period. I mean, every detail, all those communication messages that went to you prior to the show, Ryan, the execution of the show while we're here, then the post show. There's going to be post show, um, you know, repurposing and posting all over the place. And I have a lot of automation running that as well. And what I found, Ryan, is just like you. You're so prepared. Everyone loves you because you come and you give them results. And when you're you're casting yourself as that professional who's prepared at all times, then people will want to work with you. I guarantee you that's what's happening with Ryan. It's what's happening with me. I'll tell you, I did not expect this show to do what it's doing right now. And just to peel back the curtain, it has become an unbelievable lead magnet for my business. The Mind Body Business Show is not my business. That's not what I do every day. But it is now a core piece of it, of the strategy. Because I just discovered when you show up in a way like Ryan does, highly prepared, putting in everything you've got to give it the highest quality. In my case, I want to lift out the guests. I make it about them, not about me. And wow, you'll see the quality really go up when you take it away from yourself. Uh, those are things I just like to impart because I think we have so much in common in that in that area, Ryan. Yes, you know, definitely. And to follow on what you're saying about pushing yourself is um, one thing with bringing the energy is understanding 
where to insert that energy and how much energy to insert on a person. And there's something I'd like to ask people to write down is to do the Brig Myers personality test. Mm -hmm. And what this does, it categorizes people into four sections. And I met um, a legend, I'm not allowed, she doesn't like me to speak of who she was when I was in Los Angeles. And she was mentoring me, I went in, she's 70. And she was just telling me stories of Hollywood, it was amazing, which I won't go into. And she said to me that, she said, you are very good. She said, you've sat and listened so patiently. And she said, and then when you when I talked, she said, you were on it. She said, right, I need to ask you a question. She said, you with your energy and you want to tell me stories. And she said, do you like to move? I said, yes, I do. And she said, what about when you go to meet an accountant? How do you think he's going to respond to you? And I said, hmm. And I went, probably a bit like, who's the crazy guy? Who's the, we're not into showbiz. He likes, she said, no, yes, he likes calm and focus so she said so when you go to meet for your casting for a director and he's very yeah i'm thinking about this and i mean you know this idea do you think you being showbiz is going to help and i went no so what the brig myers personality does it gives you feedback to yourself about what your qualities are as a person and if you can understand how you react and you behave you can then also read about the other categories and it can help you understand the mind frame of other people because a lot of we a lot of us do not understand how other people work like i can't read books i would not want to sit on a beach reading a book just having a quiet meal of my own and going to bed i couldn't do it i couldn't i couldn't get by without a selfie um i'm putting on instagram i'm totally joking but i like interaction i like speaking I like quiet time. So to be successful at business, it's about communication. And if you're able to understand the mental framework of another individual and connect with them on the way that they like to talk and communicate, you're more likely to be successful working with them because it's not all about you bringing yourself to them. Good business and good friendship comes from acknowledging somebody and meeting a middle ground where you can work together and not saying it's me, it's all about me. And that goes from everyone from high energy to low energy is I'm not going to go. Yeah, I just I just don't do talking. If you don't do talking and you don't want to communicate, don't be an entrepreneur. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, so true. So true. We've got others uh, jumping in. Actually, oh, some of the same, but yeah, solving problems for a profit. Uh, Jason Nast knows that all too well. Let's see. Yes. Um, not that one. I want Anthony. I saw Anthony has there. Yes, that's what I'm seeing you to. The more you give, the more you succeed. Yeah, Ryan just said it right there. And uh, it's true. The more you give, the more you succeed. And the, the key, though, is it has been for me. And maybe if it's different for you, uh, Ryan, go ahead and chime in. But the key has been for me is to do that without expecting anything in return. You're giving. That's the that's the definition of giving, not giving with the expectation of getting. Are you in alignment with that, Ryan? Completely. I think you meet people, help people out. Um, there is um, a, a line with me, I'll be honest. I do get contacted by people very randomly a lot who our friends on social media say, and I comment on their posts a lot. And then all of a sudden they have um, a music video or they've done a project. And then I, I've commented on that as well. And then I get a message going, hi, I really want your help. And I'm like, hmm, funny that, because I don't see you communicating with me on my social media. I'm just naturally supporting you. And, in, and then I look and I go, you've never commented, never liked on my post, but now you want my help and you want me to spend time with you. And I'll be honest, those people are like, no, because they're takers. And I know, and I want to go, oh, don't, go on, help them. And I went, no, stop, Ryan. That's negative energy coming at you because they're takers. And I'm really strict with myself now with the people that I let into my life. You've got to, people that are takers and don't do anything that is, 
rewarding that helps you in a mutual respect as a friendship or work, get rid of it. People that just ask you for favors, people that just want things from you, get rid of it. There's got to be mutual respect and support and admiration from both sides. And if it's not there, especially when you're the one achieving and there's people underneath, and it comes from as simple as putting some posts on your Instagram, liking some pictures, putting some comments, that's all it takes. But don't be going at someone for everything. Yeah, it's, it's keep with the positive people and you'll be fabulous. Absolutely. Yeah. And serve and do it without expecting things in return. And I'm the same way, you know, you know, you're saying to be honest, well, yeah, you don't want to, you know, it, it's not about serving and helping everybody on the planet. We can't do that. No one person can. And you do have to pick and choose. I totally in, concur with this. Uh, I used to allow people to walk all over me. I mean, blatantly, because I was so freaking, you know, wanting to give and be nice. And then just, they would take advantage and then do, you know, take advantage. And I finally got enough respect for myself and said, no more, I'm done. No more. I don't have enough time to be dealing with this stuff. And you're pulling me down. Like you said, the negative energy, uh, totally. And the other one with that is the, um, I've had many, many times in my life. I've walked away from friends who I was very close with and I just, it was a really difficult time to do it, but doing it, was the best thing I've ever done when I have done it because those people have sometimes brought me into a bad world that they were in and it was it was clouding my thoughts. And then the other one is some people could be really manipulative. <laughs> like you can let them in and give them stuff and then they flip things and say, you make me feel bad. I'm going, really i make you feel bad like what you said this to me and i'm not going oh really because i didn't take you to meet them and you didn't get that experience and then i was just like you know what i'm done i don't have i have thousands of friends and i'm connected and i went and you're the one accusing me of things so i was like I'm not doing it and then because i let them into my bubble really close they think i won't pop it and i'm like we're done <laughs> I'll let it go because I'm ruthless about my emotions and my life. And I'm not going to let that just, it's like, a, what's it called? Bacteria. I'm not going to let it spread. So if it has to go, it has to go. Yeah, It's not an easy thing to do, but it's, it's a necessary thing to do. And I call it firing your friends. You know, you need to fire your friends sometimes. Uh, I've done, I've had that happen to me twice in my life that I can recall at this moment that were, you know, more than twice, I'm sure, but that were, that had a meaning to them and that were difficult. You can't help everyone, Brian. This is the thing. And no. there's so many people that go, but they're my best friend. I went, but all I hear you, and I'm on the phone to pay some people, I go, okay, I can't make the decision, but all I hear you do is complain about that person. And all you ever tell me is they make you feel like rubbish. I went, you need to leave. And I said, it's not, I shouldn't say that as a third party, but I'm afraid to say it, but I now don't want to be, your friend because you when i you call me i go oh my god no hi <laughs> please be in a good mood i'm going i don't want that i said so you need to change your life if you want to be in my life because i don't look forward to that telephone call and i said and that's what it's all about so until you can sort your eggs i'm taking mine somewhere else darling we're gonna go fly Oh, man, I was literally just talking to a gentleman, I mean, an hour before our show, right? And I just said to him, I said, you ever get that phone call and you see that number and you just shudder and you don't even want to answer it? And who it, wants to be that? And this is it. Who wants to be that person? You exactly. want it to be, oh, my God, it's Brian. Mate, you want to pick up the phone excited and happy, not annoyed. And I think people really take that into consideration is, when you call people up, what are you doing? Or when you're having a meeting, are you giving them negativity or positivity? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Anthony. Yes, he's right. Ryan, he's talking to you. Haters will hate and try to live off your energy. So true. And he's saying this has been great. Wish you to the best of success. And we wish you the same, Anthony. Uh, just wish everyone the greatest of success. And uh, 
Yeah. That's so funny. You answer the call like that, Ryan. And so they don't and can't suck your energy. So you don't put it into the call. Yeah. Exactly. So the other one is you're like, yeah, I'm now Rosie. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You need me. I've got to go. I'll call you back. Rona needs me, darling. Oh, yeah, I'm there. Okay. Bye. Right. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use that one. Because I get the answer, buzz. and then say you're busy and you got to go. Yeah. It's like wow. I'll call someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Trick to the trade. Yeah, I love it. Uh, hey, they're necessary at times, right? You gotta yes. do it. You gotta do what you gotta do to keep your own sanity. Oh. Holy smokes, bro! It's it's only we got four minutes left. But I did say at the opening we're gonna go five hours. So I hope you're good. Um, no, we got four minutes, and I want to wrap this up. And I I want to again extend my appreciation to you. But before I do that, I did promise everyone a giveaway, right? If they stayed on, yes. And then uh, before I talk about that, which is right in a moment. Uh, I love to end the show, Ryan, with one special question. I ask this same question of every person who's been on my show. I hope you didn't cheat and go watch one. Well, I just got to get ready. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, um, all right. Okay. Yeah, Let's it's see. it. It's a profound question. It can be slightly personal, uh, and however long it takes you to answer it. It's however long it takes. It doesn't matter. Um, but before we jump into that, I have to fulfill my promises. I have to. And I'm going to. And so for those of you that stuck with us live till this point now, you have our permission to take your gaze away from the amazing Ryan Jenkins for just a moment. Take out that smartphone. We've been talking about it. And pull up your messaging app, your text messaging app. And I'm going to put it on the screen for those of you to follow along. You may want to write this down because it's going to go away real soon. And you can uh, you have till the end of tonight to enter. And what you want to do is where you would actually type in the name of the person you're going to message rather than type that name in, type in the number you see there. It's 314-665-1767, 314-665-1767. And then in the message area where you would actually now type in your message like an emoji, no emojis, just two words separated by a hyphen or a dash. And those two words are peak, P-E-A-K dash vacation all together no spaces and then keep an eye out on your phone you will get a follow-up message automatically that will be asking you for your email address and that is what will officially enter you into the the contest because our system is automated and you will get your notification if you want via email so go ahead and do that right now and let's get back to the man of the hour the man of the early morning out there near rome are you ready ryan yeah. So here's here's a, a couple extra little things, and then I'm going to ask you. So uh, here's the thing. There is no such thing as a wrong answer. It does not exist. In fact, the, the exact opposite is the true thing, is the only correct answer is yours. That's what makes it personal. Nothing more. It's pretty cool. So it's it's fun. The answer may come to you instantly, or it may take you several seconds, maybe a minute or two. It doesn't matter. Dead air time doesn't bother me any. Whatever it takes. So now are you ready? I know. You're born ready. You're always ready, guy. I tell you. All right. Here we go. It's my favorite part of the show. Oh, I love this. Ryan Jenkins, how do you define success? How do you fix sign success? Success is if you can wake up in the morning and say you're happy and go to bed at night and say you're happy. Success is not driven or leveled by money, by running a business. It's run by happiness and what makes you internally happy for your life. So it could be making loads of money and that's the kind of person you are and you like you just like money, money, money. And if you go to bed with that, you are you know what? You've done your deal. Or it could be you live in Thailand or live in a little village. And they say the most happiest people on the planet are the people which have no money and they have family. Mm. So it's all down to you as an individual. But commute, 
would say a community living in a community with your family and sitting down having those meals like when you think of what are the most happiest moments we have as humans normally like christmas day unless you're arguing but you know those <laughs> moments your birthdays celebrations that if you're surrounded with people that you can share moments with that that's when you're happy in your content mm. there are so many things i love about that so many we don't have time for me to rehash it all but one of the main ones is it's not about money and that has been the common thread of all the entrepreneurs that have preceded you, Ryan, and their answers. The same thing. It's not about money. And I appreciate you for being the person you are, for spreading your incredible, infectious positivity and energy everywhere you go. Please keep doing that as long as you're able to. And I wanted to give you a quick opportunity to I'll let people in on how would they go about connecting with you, maybe to learn more about how you become successful, maybe to follow you in your many uh opportunities that you have going on and i want to flash up your website i love your website it's phenomenal uh, it's thank you it's designed by a part-time website by a really good friend of mine called uh, lisa franks and gabriel um they've done amazing work on it and they're based in los angeles mm. yeah and this is it look at this i mean there's ryan doing his thing like he was just talking about you do this lighting does this he's choreographing oh i can see my daughter there right now that would be awesome <laughs> so uh is that a great way for folks to reach out to you is you know the contact link there on your website Would yeah that please check it out it's www.ryanjenkins.co.uk here gonna go with the advertising pitch you can also reach me on instagram at real ryan jenkins because honey i'm not the fake one so that's instagram at real ryan jenkins hashtag work it because you're worth it <laughs> yes. hashtag work it yes <laughs> <laughs> that's again that's ryan jenkins dot co dot uk put it all in there and you'll see this amazing site that you're watching right now flashing with this is just this is an eye-catching website and it really fits ryan because it's fast moving it's got energy it's also showing his mastery as he's teaching as he's choreographing as he's coaching as he's leading it's got all the elements and the essence of this amazing guy that you see right here on the screen with me. So I don't know. This has been phenomenal, Ryan. I appreciate you so much for staying up and getting back up so early for being here for everyone. That's um, and thank you everyone for interacting and asking questions. Appreciate you all. Is there one last piece of advice, Ryan, if you could think of one thing, there is a budding entrepreneur out there. There's somebody who's just getting started. Don't and dream it. Be it. There it is. He knew what it was right away. No, oh, straight away. Don't stop dreaming. Make it happen. Don't dream it. Be it. Get out of bed. Don't, don't talk about it. Don't whine about it. Don't ask. Don't stop asking questions. Just get on with it. Make it. You have a phone. You've got a computer. Research. Mm. Do it. There's no excuses. Anybody can achieve anything. Look at Richard Branson. Millionaires are created every two seconds. People get married, people fall in love because people go on trips. I I randomly moved to Rome. I didn't think about it. I went, you know what? I'm not living in London. And didn't dream it. I went, I'm going. Did it. Best thing I ever did was move to Rome for the last four months for lockdown. It has inspired me. I've got work done. And so many people in the UK are just complaining, upset that they wish they had done it. And I said, Shoulda, woulda, coulda, baby. Don't <laughs> be it. <laughs> yeah, I like to say right along the same line, take massive, immediate, and I add one more, consistent action. You know, don't don't go into paralysis by analysis, as Ryan said. Just, just do it, like Nike would tell you. All right, well, that has been, that's a wrap. This has been a phenomenal show because of Mr. Ryan Jenkins. Again, thank you, my friend, for coming on here. On behalf of this amazing, amazing young man, I am Brian Kelly, your host of the Mind Body Business Show. Until next time, we will see you again with another phenomenal guest. Until then, so long, and God bless everyone. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to the Mind Body Business Show podcast at www.themindbodybusinessshow.com. Bye.
My name is Brian Kelly.